Welcome to another episode of Sewing Past Your Expiration Date, being Thrifty Over 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Gobble, 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 gobble. Got my turkey shirt on. Want to see my turkey shirt? Sure. Here's my turkey shirt. Wow. Yay. A lot of uh, beads out there. A lot of beads. You know, Mommy, got to have my beads and my glissies and all of that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about my uh, CD webinar that's coming up this week in a little bit in the show, and I wanted to put on a rock and roll shirt, and then I realized my beard is so long, you can't <laughs> see that I'm wearing a Foo Fighter shirt. Yeah, that's a good one, though. They yeah, like this, you can. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, my, yeah, my, beard, my beard's covering stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you should cut it a little bit, honey. Hell no. <laughs> the last time oh. I uh, shaved it off, you didn't even notice, so <laughs> on you. Ah, well, that's going you only did the mustache, and I didn't. No, like I did the whole thing. Oh, well. Oh, that was big. We were on a cruise with, like, 30 people, yeah. and yeah. mom always gives me grief to cut my beard off. So we had planned out, Stacy and I, to shave my beard in the middle of the cruise. So so during the day when we were on shore, I had a full beard. Right before dinner, I shaved it all off. We sat down to dinner with 30 people. Dinner lasted two, three hours. Not one person noticed or said a word. So at the end of dinner, I stood up. I said, I am never shaving my beard off again. And I walked away. And that, that was it, too. <laughs> yep. Y'all ruined it. <laughs> well, mom, had, mom had a rough week this week with the head go to the dentist. Oh, I had to have two teeth pulled down below here. I mean, two days ago, you guys, it looked like I had a baseball in my cheek. I was swollen so bad. And on top of pulling the two teeth, they had to do a bridge augmentation. Oh, I hope nobody ever has to go through that. They get the hammer and chisel out and start pounding on you. Oh, my God, you guys. So I'm on, I'm on about five different medications right now. And so no cocktails for me the last few days. So sorry to say. But it's getting better. And the swelling is down. But I look like, you know, you know what a goiter is, Jason? Yeah, well, mommy looked like she had a goiter on her neck. I mean, it was all out to here and cheek out to here. And oh, yeah. I was not a pretty sight, but, you know, hanging in there. Zero oh, my. Uh, here, wait, wait, I'm going to turn. I don't know. If, I'm going to turn my computer. I'm, I'm about to see snow. Can anybody see out my window? Oh, I see it snowing. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining this morning, everybody. And then they said it was going to turn to snow. Well, here it comes. Oh, what, what a comparison. <laughs> Here's mine. As you can see, the window is open. <laughs> it's Georgia 68 in blue sky. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That sucks. I mean, this time of year, I really, I really get uh, depressed when I am still up in this terrible weather. Uh, you still live there. Yes, I know. Had a, I don't know about. I know we're not going to talk Browns or Packers today because we didn't. We don't play. But Ohio State had one hell of a game yesterday, and that was exciting. And they won in overtime, 52 to 51. That's crazy. So, which puts us still in the hump. Uh, the hump. You're not. <laughs> You're not. Huh? Yeah, when I get that, still in the race for uh, uh, championship playoff. But we play Michigan next Saturday. So, and for those of you who know, the Michigan Ohio State rivalry is one of the best ever in football. And uh, this this will be uh, a real test for us. So we'll see if we're any good. By the way, it's we so we're going to a friend's house uh, this evening for a cookout outside. <laughs> Oh, get out. Yeah, I'm going to be cooking. Just before the show went live, uh, uh, my friends were like, hey, we're having a cookout. Who wants to come over? And, and everyone she put in a group, everyone's like, yeah, we'll come over. I, I don't really have the time, but I, I'm like, we're going. We're going to go for a little yeah. bit of a cookout. Plus, I have a piece of framed artwork that my friend had me get framed by my guy in L.A. that she has not seen yet. That mm -hmm. It's so next level framing. I'll, I'll take a picture. And oh, I'll yeah. Thank you. Because it's crazy. Yeah. This guy, Tay, his name is Link, and he takes what's in the picture, what's in the artwork, and uses it in the matting. So your, your traditional matting uh, is you know, yeah. rectangular or square, and then another mm -hmm. one. This, it's all hand cut, so he takes the images out of the picture and adds uh, them. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. And so picture, it's, 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 it's like it's the, it's the end-all, be-all. It's the most amazing right. thing I've ever done. And it wasn't even for me, so I'm bummed. Yeah. 
We uh, we had our Ohio uh, area eBay meet uh, meeting on Saturday, which was great. And what we did uh, this time, which was something a little different that we have not done yet before. Uh, each person that came was to bring three different items of things they collect. So that was kind of interesting as we went around the room and everybody showed their things because it, it turned out to be good bolos because there's definitely some great money in you know the things that we all collect, of course. Do you have pictures? Oh, no, I don't. Did you take any? I did not. <laughs> I was so entranced watching everybody. You know that how, how promoting your event works? <laughs> I know. Isn't that terrible? Because right yeah. now, as you're talking, it'd be a good time for me to be leafing through the pictures to show. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta do better at that. I really do. See, you're so into it, honey, that mommy just doesn't uh, pick up on that as good as I should. But it was a very good idea. And I, I think we'll do it again because, you know, we get new people in there every, uh, every month. So... Uh, it's something that I think people definitely would do again because there was a lot of good information. And some people said they had so many different collections that it was hard to narrow it down to three. So, you know, I think uh, we will definitely bring it up again in a few months and uh, see. And now we'll take some pictures with a follow up. So you took you took a buyer's caroler, a tiki mug and some water skis. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I took because I was our speaker yesterday were, were buyers. I brought about, uh, I don't know, 50 to 75 buyers carolers for everybody to look at because we were talking a lot about it. And the, a couple of the ladies brought up the the, the, the problem of the uh, the ones, the knockoffs, you know, and they said, oh, I thought I had them, Peg. And I said, look, I says, pay attention. as you come over here and look at these bases. You've just got, if you look at the base on buyers, it's usually always got the tag. Or if you know the base, you'll know that you've got the real deal because, you know, they don't copy the bases. And that's, and that's the whole point of, uh, teaching. You know, what's been odd is I got my CD webinar coming up in two days and I'll talk about that mm -hmm. in a little bit, uh, more, more extensively, but as I've been advertising it, it it's just 10 bucks, you know, yeah. and people are, uh, I've been, I've been catching a lot of grief, oddly enough. Uh, and it's coming from three different angles. Uh, you're, you're, you're creating your own competition. Why do that? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. CDs don't sell for money anymore. And, uh, <laughs> he's, he's making more money off the webinar than he does the CDs. And I make, I make a minimum of a thousand dollars a month off just the CDs that I sell. But, uh, why teach? Why does anybody teach? I mean, right, these, right. these people are angry at me. They should be angry at every teacher they've ever had through school and anybody else has taught them their job. I mean, it's just right. Right. really asinine thinking. And, but, but when you, when you're an expert in something and you can teach it, like mom, when she when she sees a caroler, she knows in an instant if it's legit or fake. And I was in Chicago for two days buying a ton of CDs, and uh, my wife she's she's learned how to to pull CDs, and so she's been digging through the the budget bins looking what? for gems in the budget bins. And she goes to hand one to me to she always asks me for just to double check her work. And mm -hmm. within, I mean, it came like this close to my face. I'm like, that's a fake. She goes, what do you mean? I go, they photocopied the cover. So I'm going to uh -huh. you open the inside. It's going to be a laser burn CD. She goes, how'd you, how'd you tell they were photocopied the cover? I'm like, it's, you know, when you photocopy something, it's just a little bit off. It's not as clear yeah. as the original. And I've got that eye that can spot that. Okay, and, right. And so to, and that's one of the things that I teach is, you know, because I can do this without thinking. Mom can do carolers without thinking. Right. So we right. Might teach you. Something, yeah, something that you know really, really, really well, like you with your music and me with buyers or, and people with, the, with their other uh, things that they collect and so forth. I mean, you just know. Like, you know, people asked us, well, how do you know a paint by number? Well, once you learn it, you know it. And then, you know, you just keep improving your, your education as, as you go. The people that are mad at you because you're charging, apparently they haven't been around long enough to know all of the years you have now done your YouTube shows for no, free. I didn't worry about that, but think about this. It's only yeah. 10 bucks. If you find yeah. one CD I'm going to teach you about for, let's say, 50 bucks, okay, just right. you find one good CD based on what I taught you, you've made your money back already. Plus, just one. I'm not yeah. charging, geez, I'm selling uh, tiki mugs and shoes while I'm trying to, I'm trying what? to. Oh, that's good. Yeah. There we go. Oh. All right. Hey, do I have but, yeah. it, I, I, I mean, the information that you're going to be getting. It, right could be worth, I mean, I could charge $200 easily and it would still be worth your money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nothing. I can, in fact, I was teasing our, at, our, at our meeting. I said, I think it's time for me to start doing CDs and forget all these big items. 
<laughs> that we saw. I mean, we make good money, but it sure is a lot harder to pack. That's for well, darn sure. The other hate I got, the other hate I got is people who are mad. And this is not just with CDs, but currently, since I'm teaching about them, um, I, and I get a lot of grief in the tiki world too, is I'm buying stuff to flip. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the true lover of the item. And, and oh, basically, no. they're waiting me to be in the ticket scalper. And I'm like, you want to see my CD wall in my uh, in my office? I mean, in my uh, library, where my my personal four thousand CD collections on display. Yeah, I'm a lover of CDs, and I have spent a lot of money in CD stores. Plus, record stores love me. I'm their best customer. I the know. One store we were at in Chicago, I spent three hundred bucks, and then I like, we'll be back because we had to go to court. Uh, and when I came back, she goes, "Oh, you did come back." I go, "I told you, you had good stuff." So we spent five hundred dollars in in one store. So exactly. they love me. They don't give a shit that I'm yeah. reselling. They love me. One cup, you know, five hundred. Yeah. And exactly. Uh, you know, I think I think people forget. Isn't the the American way to better yourself and improve yourself and hopefully make money? I mean, that's that's just the way it, it, it works here. And people get jealous of other people that do well. I never could understand that in our society, but that is the way I've seen it in my lifetime. And you know, so as soon as someone is starting to do really, really well, they. I guess the jealousy kind of sets in and yo, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Da, 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 da. Well, you know, hey, everybody gotta gotta do what you feel you gotta do. So uh I was gonna talk about the sign up later, but since we're so far deep, yeah. so let's just talk about this now. Yeah, why don't, why don't, why don't, why don't. Webinar is coming up in two days, right? Two days. Yeah, two days, November 20th. Go to www.registerfortheclass.com. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you all about uh, buying CDs in two main places, thrift stores and record stores, because it's a different uh, mindset and strategy to both those places. And uh, the thrift stores, I'm going to teach you how to quickly get through the whole section without spending much time because there is so much to skip. You don't even have to pause and look at. So that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you what to look for, what sections produce the best money, uh, how, how to use the record store. Um, uh, to make lots of money because record stores know they're doing only to a point. And plus they're only selling usually to the people that walk in the doors. We are selling to the whole world. And so right. a prime example is I sold these two CDs this morning, County Francis oh my uh, God. Christmas in my heart. I paid four bucks. I sold it for $30. Nice. And then this doors, uh, Morrison hotel, I paid 10 bucks oh. and I sold it for $50. I, yeah, 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 I know. I mean, I, I, I'm so excited, Jason. I can't wait. I mean, mommy's going to really all study these them. are out there. I find them all the time, and it's yeah. super easy to teach what I know. Now, I cannot download my entire brain to musical knowledge because that'd be worth a million dollars for sure, but I can teach you the basics on how to narrow it down and how to get in there and find the good stuff. And besides signing up for the webinar, uh, if you sign up for the webinar and you add the notes, the notes are an additional 10 bucks. But what the notes are is we're having a professional note taker disseminate the webinar into note form so you can print it out and take it to the thrift store. So if you sign up for both of those, you also get an added bonus of my Christmas CD webinar for free. I don't know. What what do you know? It's going to be this webinar, just the general how to find everything. And Christmas is its own special beast. So that's why I talked, I bought some County Francis to sell so yeah. you if you sign up for the both the webinar and the notes you get the christmas webinar for free so go to the register www.registerfortheclass.com get signed up and the most thing the thing i get asked the most and i put it everywhere but i still get asked it a thousand times if you can't watch live that is no biggie just get signed up you'll get a link you can watch whenever your schedule permits you know it's a it's a it's time doesn't exist anymore because we we work around the world and we work with people around the world so time isn't a factor but of course when we have the event live, we know not everyone can be there. Some people are sleeping the other side of the world. Some people got kids, they work, whatever. No biggie. But the yeah. only thing about watching live is I'll be answering all the live questions right that moment. I know. That's, that's what's nice about that, you know. So uh, your aunt will be here with me. We're going to watch together. So uh, she took a few pictures yesterday. Those of you who are want to hear a little follow-up. And uh, so I'm going to help her do her, her listings on Tuesday. So Nice. Yeah, we'll Lillian in the chat said... Uh, uh, found a CD for 50 cents, flipped it for 62. Woohoo! I love that. Okay, uh, Sandra said she forgot, didn't sign for the notes. Uh, when you sign for the webinar, the next page immediately is uh, if you want to sign for the notes. And somehow people miss that, but no biggie. Hey, Sandra, just message me on Facebook. I'll give you the direct link to sign up for the notes. 
the direct okay. link. So I saw, I saw a question go by, honey, about the link to the secret beach for the webinar. And, and, and you haven't posted that yeah. yet, have Point, you? Okay, great. I forgot to say that. Those of you yeah. in the secret beach, you will get in the webinar for free. And I'll be making an actual post with your with your uh, specific sign up today. So secret beach comers, uh, it's coming today. Okay, super. All right, so let's get into what. Uh, oh, and uh, Sandra said she needs to know too. So yeah, if you sign up for the webinar, just message me directly on Facebook today. I'll get you the direct link to get at, get the notes added. All right, that's no biggie, and uh, I can't wait to teach you guys. And it's one of those things that, like, I know Tiki. I'm like already right, looking at my webinar. And I'm not done yet. I'm like, I, it's yeah. already too much. <laughs> not in terms of I don't want to give you too much. Like, I don't expect somebody to sit through a four hour epic webinar. So I've got to make sure. I'm giving uh, you, you know, the 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 meat, the meat, yeah. and, and not get too nerd and minutia. I can see the excitement in you, honey, because oh, you're yeah. talking music. It's it's like it's like night and day with you because you know your passion has been with music since day one. So uh, I can see how excited you are to do this. I can't wait. I'm, I know I'm going to learn a lot, and I'm going I'm going out record shopping next week after I I'm watch the. You do that that forever. I know. Well, I'm, I still don't do it good enough. I need to know more. All right, so let me show you one more picture, and then we'll get into our actual topic today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rag, rags. Yeah, well, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, maybe you have to break it down into two parter eventually, honey. Yeah, you know. I, I already realized there's some parts. Um, there's some parts I'm going to do a second part on down the road, and then uh -huh. there's some things that were just so. There was so much content for one one specific thing. I've already figured out two more webinars for the Secret Beach. Okay, so, there you go. All right, Thank so here, just just so you understand how much I love music and uh, CDs. There we go. So the stacks in front of me are what I just bought in Chicago, and the racks behind me is my personal collection. And that and that's not all of it. That's only uh, two thirds. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I'm a music nerd through and through. I always have been. I remember my, mm -hmm. my first, I remember my first record. I remember my first A track. I remember my first CD. I do not remember my first cassette, but that's how much of a music nerd I am. I remember all that stuff. And there's just so much inside of me that uh, I got to get it out. I got to give it to you guys. So, all right. Uh, okay. I think uh, one of them already hit me up for the, uh, to get the notes. <clears throat> and so, yeah. hey, let's get on to what we came here to talk about. Yes. Today. yes. Because right. look, yeah. I know mom gets this email and just ignores it. <laughs> well, because, here's what I do. I read the email. All right. And, that, and that's a good I, start. That's a good yeah. start. And then I click on the uh, yeah these these many items that need to be fixed, and I click on it, and then it all comes up, and then I know what to do. That's as far as I get. I start I start clicking on some things. Okay. And then I, I move it over, and it says, "Well, your price is higher than this than the going rate." Blah blah blah. But then I, I that's as that's as far as I, I get. All right. So, and I guess I didn't explain it well enough in the blurb for the show, and, and I'm really not talking about the the price suggestions from eBay. Cause as you can see, I've only got five suggestions. So I must be pricing my stuff pretty well right on. Mm -hmm. It's the everything else you should clean up. Yeah. You want to be a top rate seller or top rate seller plus, or be what do what everyone else is doing. So you fit into the, to the mix. Well, like 60 day returns, free returns, blah, 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 blah. These, this is the email that eBay sends you. Uh, well, you, I thought it was once a week, but I just looked. The last ones I got four days apart. So it's even yeah, and sometimes they come close. Yeah. yeah, they do. And so what it's telling you is you should edit your listings and fix this stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going to click on, uh, it's, uh, on this. We're going to do the second one first. Add okay. acquired product identifiers. Product identifiers. Can you make it any bigger? Yeah. How come it's so little? I can't, mom can't read that at all. Anybody else having trouble? Is there just me? How about you making yours bigger? Well, command plus, command plus, command plus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me try that. Hold on. Okay. Now I'm going to guess yours is smaller. But here we go. So, uh, uh, product identifiers such as brand name or UPC make it easier for shoppers to find and buy your items. They also make you more efficient by helping to suggest item specifics and offering pricing guidance. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says use the bulk editing tool to fix those 22 listings. So if okay. you out where it says 22 listings, right now open a new window with those 22 listings in the bulk edit tool. 
Hang on, let me get there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So it's going to give us some recommendations. As you can see, uh, the first thing is my cashmere sport coat. And one thing it says it wants to recommend item specifics. It wants it wants to add blazer to the type and Italy to the country because it's reading what I've written in my description. Okay, so I will fix all these later, but I have one example here, and it's not. It is not the that one. It is my Johnny Carson one. Okay. okay. So there's my Carson one, and it wants me to uh, add the waist size. That's a relatively new thing. They want waist sizes on all the coats nowadays. Okay. And, um, and I and I know that's a legit measurement for coats, but man, when I buy my coats, it's not one I've ever, 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 ever thought about. So, all right. So I got my I got my blazer right here. So let me button it, and I'll measure the waist real quick, and then I'll add it in. Now, what I should be doing is, if I wasn't, you know, teaching this on the show right now, I should have all my coats out that need the waist size and knock them off all at once. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do all at once today. I'm just going to do this one just to show you guys what we're doing here. Ah. Oh, and hey, uh, fun side story I forgot to tell you, Ma. I'm, I'm losing my new assistant who I love. Oh, no. Already? Yes, it's a long story about her becoming a nurse, but uh, it's going to be interfering. And yeah, all right. So, if you know someone in Vegas who needs an assistant job, I am in the market. Okay, not too bad. You were so happy with her. <laughs> so, so, right out here, it says uh, edit. So, let's click on edit. Okay. And right there, it says waist size. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I forgot the measurement already. Crap. <laughs> so the waist is 46. 23 flat. All right. All right Jason, quick question. Do you not put in the full waist measurement rather than just the flat size? or how uh, In the drop downs for coats, uh, I'm putting in the full. This is for a coat, not for, you know. Well, I would for jeans, too. For, I mean, for that matter. All right. I have no idea what the material is on this coat, so I'm going to leave that one blank. But as you can see, inseam, which doesn't apply here, it would be if we had a suit, and material do not have a red asterisk. It might be a little hard to see, but there is a red asterisk near waist size. That means you must have it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So if they add a must-have after the fact, then these are the things that are going to show up in your, hey, you need to fix this. Because when I listed this, waste was not a must-have. Okay? Uh -huh. And uh, save and close. So now that one is specifically fixed. Okay. Drop a little lower here and or maybe a little higher. Okay. So the Wrangler vest it was asking me for the style. Apparently, whatever assistant listed this didn't pick the style. So I'm going to click edit. And it was a Wrangler jean jacket that someone cut the sleeves off of to make it a vest. So for style, which is uh, something they want specifically uh, checked off, jean jacket is one of the options. So we will, we will select that. Okay. So I save and close. And so all I'm doing is going down and editing what they're asking me to edit. Now, of course, right, so, yeah. so you have to open up each one as you go to see what yeah, they because what usually, they usually, Well, no, because uh, I'm going to show you some bulk editing on a bunch. Okay. But in these kind of things, when it needs this item specific for this one and this different item specific for the other one, yeah, you got to go one at a time. Okay. All right. So then you just click submit all changes. Now, of course, I didn't finish all 22, but uh, when I go back into this, now I'll, I'll only have to do 20. Okay. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Susan said, wow, I never thought to do waste on coats. Yeah, like I said, um, oops, I don't want the chairs right now. <laughs> like I said, I've never, when I bought coats, it's got to fit my shoulders, the length of my body, and the length of my arms, because that's usually my problem. Mm -hmm. I've never thought about waste. The only thing I can think of is if a guy's got like a pot belly. Yeah. 
and, and so then he 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 don't play a determining factor uh, in his jacket. All right. Okay. So that's how you do the ones that need item specifics. Now, this top one to qualify for top rated plus seal. Let buyers know that you consistently deliver outstanding customer service with a top rated plus seal on your listings. To receive the seal and other top rated seller benefits, update your listings according to the guidelines in the bulk editing tool. All right. So I'm going to click on these 188 and let me, let me see what they want me to do. Yeah, that's what mommy usually gets. That one more, Jason, than than the other kind. Is the is that? So rags, if you're looking through a dirty window, you got to click on your gear at the bottom and switch it to a uh, high def. That's what's happening. All right. So view all listings that need a free return policy update to qualify for top rated seller plus. I'll check that off. And then I'll click off the checkbox at the top, which clicks off all of them. And then I do. Add uh, uh, wait, slow down. Do that one more time. You click off the which one, honey? Says view all the things that need a free okay. update. Okay. To qualify, so I, I want to do those. Okay. And then I checked off the top box to select all of them. Okay. Uh, okay. Click top box. And then all I'm right. going to click edit fields and I'm going to edit my return policy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're edit edit listings in bulk. So I'm going to change it from 30 day to 60 day. And okay. then the seller pays for free returns. So you don't have to do free returns. You don't have to do 60 days. But yeah. this is what eBay suggested, and I'm I'm cool with it. I've always been cool with it, especially going to the holidays. I want people to shop with as less headaches as possible for them. Right. And they'll they'll want to shop in places that A offer returns and B offer no hassle returns just in case. I did 90 day returns three years ago when eBay tried it out for Christmas mm -hmm. and I had no returns. I had zero. Okay. Yeah, I think we all freak out and think we're gonna get a zillion returns, and basically you don't. I mean, you know, a scattered one here and there certainly can't amount to that much. And then we're gonna click uh submit changes. And there we go. So now those are all updating to 60 day. Uh huh. Yeah, I think that's where I think that's pretty much what what I got recently is just updating. You know my uh, my returns. Whoops. What does it say? Some of your the 12 that have errors are all the jackets that still need a waist size. So oh, okay. Showing up as hey, there's an error, which I fully know that I just got to fix it. Right. Right. Now, right. We'll settle in in the next couple of minutes. If we click on it again. We won't see 180 that need updated on the returns because they're already updated. So yeah. Okay. So it's, it's really not all that difficult. I guess I'm making it more out there to, you know, you know how mommy gets when I get those things. <laughs> oh God. What am I doing? Why, why isn't this working for me? <laughs> yeah, they do say, Hey, you can update your, your pricing. And I, I never pay attention to that, but let's see what they say. I've got five listings. They recommend changes on. Okay. Let's look. So here's, here's where we're, they want me to up my price. Mm. Okay. So they're saying, my current price is 30 bucks, but in the last three days, the trending price is 33.59. Mm -hmm. So for once, they want me to, to up my price. So let me ask you this. If you don't follow their suggestions, I mean, that doesn't do anything to your record, does it? No. Um, I, yeah. I mean, that's not going to affect you in that regard. Okay. Plus, uh, if you sell for more money, eBay will make more money. So yeah, of course they wouldn't penalize you for that. Right, right. So uh, keep th keep that in mind. So let's see. I, I don't know if it'll take effect this quick, but let's go back to this and see if the the changes have taken effect. Okay. See, I clicked on where it said a hundred listings uh -huh. need work, and now only thirteen listings show up. So that means. Uh -huh. Those are done. All that bulk edit. So see how quick bulk editing can go. Yeah, I bulk edited 180 listings in about 30 seconds. Like if I wasn't yeah. talking about it and showing you, and I just did it, it'd be less than 30 seconds to yeah, edit right. all my listings to be where I wanted to be anyway. Okay. Well, I'm as soon as our show is over today, I'm going right to do it. See how I do. And then I'll be calling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so view listings that need one same day or one day handling time. Okay. And uh, apparently uh, I only have one for some reason that had three day handling time. So again, I will click the checkbox, mm -hmm. click edit fields, edit and fields. I will 
uh, wherever the handling is. Handling time's right there. And I've been doing same day nowadays. So save and close. And submit changes. So there we go. So other than the waist size for those dozen or so sports coats, all my stuff's cleaned up now. Yeah, that's really nice. You should not ignore those emails. Um, okay. It, like I said, maybe you don't want to do 60-day returns. Is telling you what you should do. But if you are missing product identifiers that you need, you should fix all of those for sure. Okay. If you're doing sport coat, they want the wayside. If you're doing a jacket, they want the style. Somehow my assistant wow. missed that. And usually it doesn't let you push that listing through. But like with the waist size on jackets, sometimes they add new stuff after the fact. And so you got to go back and clean them up a little bit. Because a little bit more. most of us That's don't right. check the waist size on coats. But for those who do, why lose a customer? Because you don't have it. Right. Yeah, I think, you know, the comments that we were getting in the chat, or not in the chat, but uh, on uh, our listing uh, for the show today, I think they were kind of going the wrong way, don't you think? After what you're explaining here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so I, I hope they uh, all uh, have tuned in or, or will tune in just to understand. Because especially if you want to keep your top rated seller standing, you got to you got to update some of that stuff. That doesn't mean you have to change the prices to keep the TRS, right, Jace? Yeah. Yeah. Just as long as you update with where, you know, if you're doing the 60 day returns or whatever, you know, the case is. And Heather said the screen was too light. Heather, I can't control the darkness of the font of eBay. Sorry. I can control a lot of things. The yeah. darkness of the font of eBay is not one of them. Yeah. No, <laughs> so, can't do that. Yeah. yeah. Can't I'm sorry that. it was light, but there ain't nothing I could do about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So any other questions? Yeah, so you have seen that email and just ignored it. I know. Let me let me uh let me pull mine over here. Hold on a minute, Jace. Because I kept mine open. Okay. Let me just click on mine for a quick second here, just in case. See what mommy's got going. I have a question for you. Okay. Oh, and then I just go over to my edit the fields. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that'll be my homework after we get done today. I, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. That, I was a little shocked to see in the five pricing suggestions and only five that you may want me to up my price because most people say eBay's telling me too little of a price, but also a lot of times you're selling like say a turn signal for a 62 Plymouth. And for some reason, they're comparing windshield wipers for a 2018 Ford Tundra or a Ford F-150. So Sometimes their suggestions make absolutely zero sense. Yeah, gotcha. Case, they want me to up the price on five things. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll happily sell my stuff for more. I act. Well, oh, yeah. Will it's, 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 now, do, will you go in then and up all those prices that they suggested? Yeah, will you sure. do that? Right, I'll give it a whirl. I mean, okay, all right. They haven't they haven't sold yet, so what's the harm? And plus, everything has right. an offer, so you know. Yeah. And, we, and we've talked about that many times, where people, you know go in for a relist and up the price and then they turn around and sell it. So, you know, you never know. It can happen. All right. Well, this is good. Thank you very much. I think you gave mom a little more insight here on what I need to do. So hopefully I can do it. All right. So let's get right to our wrong screen. All right, let's get right to Mama's Boy. Now, usually, usually I show a very young, cute photo of me or I show a teenage embarrassing photo of me. However, this photo I took four days ago. Oh, my. <laughs> Not real old. Uh -huh. but, oh, crap. Hold on. I meant to show a picture of the building I was in in uh -huh. Chicago because I want you to uh, totally uh, – so the, it's called the Pittsfield Building, and okay. old downtown building. So here, here it is. And uh, yeah, th this is this is how it still looks today. Wow! Oh, and, that's gorgeous. so you understand how how fancy the building is. And in the Pittsfield, and here's some more pictures of it, is uh, a diner called the Pittsfield Diner. It's been there for a hundred years too. So look, look how fancy this place is. Wow! So. After breakfast, I had to go down and go potty. And I went potty, and the bathrooms are all marble. And I try to take a selfie of me and what I'm about to show you <laughs> from the bathroom <laughs> because it just made no sense. It made no sense why I was there. 
And while I'm snapping selfies, someone walked in. I didn't acknowledge the fact that I was taking selfies in the bathroom. I just kept going. And I couldn't ever get the right angle. So let me show you what I was taking a picture of, and then I'll show you all my failed attempts. Okay? Okay. I walk in to go potty, and here is the, the sticker stuck in the stall. Oops. Oh, dear. Oops. What? Oh, I- <laughs> what? Why is that? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that a sticker? Why is yeah. that in the bathroom of this in a hundred year old building? Right. <laughs> That's funny. So, so see, I tried this and then uh-huh. I realized the uh the graffiti says Trump is number one president. So I didn't want to make it a political picture. Then I right. tried again and this time I cut my face off and it was fuzzy. And then I tried again <laughs> and my finger is just gigantic. And then I tried again, and I kind of got it, but I wasn't really looking at the right place, so I just gave up. Yeah, well, but then, how cute is that, though? You go to the potty, and there's there's our name thingy. If he is thrifty, oh. like what? I know, I know. I mean, that's almost uncanny. Do 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 do. Those of you who knew why I was in Chicago for, uh, I I've been teasing it. I was in Chicago for a court. Uh, I would love to give you all the details, like I promised and planned on giving you. However. My official paperwork had the wrong court date on it. <laughs> I know. So it, the court g- date is coming up this week. And so once, it, uh, and I, I got to call in for the results. I'll explain everything to everybody after the fact, but it's one of those that's going to make you shake your head and not at me, at the other person involved. So yeah, kind of ridiculous. Very strange. Who, who, Steve said, who says potty? Would you like me to say crapper or toy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I still say potty. <laughs> All right. And then time for that's my mama. And mom found a great picture because in this picture is items we tell you to look for. Yep. Uh, I couldn't believe it. You know, I said, I've got to go back to the early 60s, you know? So, well, actually, this one is 1968. While your dad was in the service, he constantly wanted mom to take pictures and send him pictures of me doing no different things. So I've got this album that I'm working on, you guys. But when I saw this one, the chairs is what did it for me. I said, because I, mom's been preaching by the web chairs for a long time now. And we, I know we've all sold them. And, uh, uh, the, and the hairdo here, that's not my real hair. That's what we were wearing back in the day called a fall. It, it, it hit you right about the middle and went down. And then you'd wear a headband or something to cover up, you know, where the ridge, ridge was. And that's a one piece jumper. Oh, that's, that's, that's sexy, isn't it? <laughs> now behind me, if you see that big open field, um, when I was younger, my dad used to plant 3000 tomato plants there. And my sister and I would uh, work at the 3000 tomato plants every year. And that was a lot of fun, but, uh, the web chairs, I wish I had those web chairs, Jace. And even the table behind me, can you see the old metal table? Up oh, there on the, uh, yeah. If you can, if you can, uh, you know, you can't see it whole, whole lot, but, uh, you know, those those were from the 60s as well. All right, I'll get an answer. Let's see how many people in the chat know. What's the point of this fence behind my mother? Oh, yeah. That's that's a good question. That's a real good question. I have not thought about in uh, about a long time. <laughs> they, I don't think they use them anymore, Jace. You uh, know? Yeah, I don't see them. But they yeah. were, there's a specific reason to that fence behind my mother. Yep. Very specific reason. Yeah. Wow. Nelly knew it. Oh, well, I got it. Yep, that's it. Snow fence. Snow fence. It, it keeps the snow from the drifts from like coming all the way to your house. So kind of yeah. stop the snow. Right. Exactly. So yeah. So see, dad was still in the service. That was sixty eight. That was the looks like summer of sixty eight. Dad got out of the service in the fall of sixty eight. So I'll, I'll keep looking for these guys because boy, sometimes I come across some real doozies. And the, but the as soon as I saw the chairs, I said, "Oh my God, that's it." Because we've talked about them so much, you know, over the past few years that we've been doing this, or a year and a half. How long have we been doing this? A uh, while. Well, yeah. I do want to answer a question about what we just talked about, the suggestions. Michelle said, if you don't want the adjusted price, is there a way to get rid of the suggestions? I think, Michelle, but I'm not 100% positive. If you edit those price suggestion ones and don't do anything, like click at it, submit all, but you don't do anything, I think it'll it'll stop them. I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think. Well, hey, I don't know if you saw this, but some people still have snow fences in their area. <laughs> I mean, uh, Carol says in Canada they do. Uh, they so Michelle says in Wisconsin they do. Heather, 
<laughs> yeah, but we don't. And you know where where we live, you guys, is the snow capital of Ohio. And uh, but Jason, I don't see him anymore anywhere. So they've just done away with them. I mean, yeah. well, Cleveland, the proper city of Cleveland, will get maybe 50 inches for the winter, and we'll get 150 inches. So there's your comparison of just that little bit of lake effect that we get that comes over and hits the top of the uh, the hills here in, in Jaga County. So there's there's the huge difference on the snow level. That's why Jason left. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So speaking of winter, before we mm -hmm. get your scores, uh, Thrifty Business is on this week's special date and special time. So oh, I, know, I know Cheryl tuned in at the wrong time today. Hi, Cheryl. Not mean to call you out, but write this down, everybody. It'll be this Wednesday, 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 okay. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday at 8. Okay, okay. I know you're going to be busy doing stuff, uh, uh, but um, you can watch after the fact. No biggie. But our guest is Ginny. Ginny is our Ooh. Christmas expert. So we're going to have a fun little show talking Christmas stuff with Ginny. And for those of you in the Secret Beach, surprise, Ginny is also our uh, guest webinar of the month. She's going to have a specific Christmas webinar for you nice. we have next week. So that post will go up very soon. So make sure right now this Wednesday, 8 p.m. East Coast, 5 p.m. West Coast. And I, Ginny's in the chat. Hi. Yeah. If you want to escape it and take my class, this is the one you should come to. Miami, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale area, November 30th, December 1st, www.classwithjason. My two-day class I've been taking on tour around the country. This is my last one for the year. Day one is spent in the thrift store going section by section, teaching you what to buy and what not to buy, and spending some extra special time in the CD section. Day two is the classroom section where I teach you everything from more stuff you should be looking for, how to take quality photos, how to add video to your listings, how to write quality listings, how to uh, do specialty arbitrage, how to use social media, and a ton of other stuff, how to ship, how to use the boxes. So even if you're not in that area, you want to escape cold for a couple of days, come on down. We're, we're not going to hang out at a tiki bar. We're going to be hanging out with mermaids. Now, what <laughs> could be a better weekend when it's cold, probably where you're at, than sun the fun in Southern Florida and mermaids and tiki bars and learning? I know. I tell you, yeah, and Patty uh, came to her first Ohio area eBay meet, uh, meeting on Saturday. And uh, I always ask them to, you know, talk and give us reviews and so forth. And again, she just raved about how good your class was, Jason, and how much as a newbie, you know, she learned. I mean, which is really kind of even still beyond her because she still knows, has to know the basics, you know. But she, she, she just uh, was very impressed with the presentation and you know, everybody learned a lot. Plus, we had veterans in the crowd that have been selling on eBay over 20 years. So, you know, you can always learn something uh, from 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 these webinars. There's no doubt. Or I, learned, I learned something from the webinar I'm about to teach of my specialty. Right. I realized that this one specific CD uh, was worth a lot of money. And I'm like, hmm, I have that CD. Do I have the correct worth a lot of money version? And yeah. I walked downstairs to my collection and yes, I do have the correct worth a lot of money version. And then in Chicago, so I just learned this six days ago and then Chicago yeah. found one. Yeah. Well, I know that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm even learning while I'm ready to teach you guys. So it's always fun. Yeah. Oh, always. always. All right, here we go. Didn't, I didn't have a real busy week this week. So uh, I go over what we, what I did have. Um, these, I bought a bunch of these dicky mugs in Vegas when I was out there last summer with Jace and, uh, uh, the guy was having a huge sale in his booth and uh, I picked these up. I think I paid around 12, 13 bucks a piece for these, Jason. And then I just, uh, you know, sold the Fu Manchu Tiki uh, for the 28 for that came price. So that was good. I mean, you know, I still got a decent return. It was, I didn't think it was, you know, awful, but, but they weren't, this one wasn't going for a whole lot more, Jason, from what I could see in my research. Look what I have to sell. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I had one in my pile to sell too. It was so funny when I saw that. I'm like, oh, yeah, like my mother, like son. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> I know. That's amazing. I don't, maybe I was too low. Was I too low? Yeah. Well, I knew... yeah I'm actually going to shoot for higher. Let's see how I do. Okay. All right. Uh, this I've, I picked, I've, I've had this in my store for quite a while. This is a, a vintage Diana Marco sweater, uh, you know, all glitzy sequins and everything. And I paid two bucks for it at the time. And I did sell it for the asking price of $19.99, but I've had it in the store for quite a while, but finally moved. You never know. And then it was one of those, oh God, where is it? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I always pick up the vintage Tupperware. Uh, this is the co colander guys. I still have mine, Jason. Mommy still uses hers that I bought 
probably 50 years ago. And I paid a quarter for this one and sold it for $9.99. I mean, I know we've talked about it before. Or some people. Quarter. Yeah, well, some people don't like to sell $10 items, but my mom does. For We spend a quarter for something. What's wrong with 10 buck return? I don't know. You know, that's the way I look at it anyways. Okay, this is a deer antler candle holder um, that I had actually in my personal collection, you guys. But I sold it for full asking price of $29.99. As some of you know, I've been uh, slowly selling off uh, my Native American Indian uh, artifacts that I've collected and uh, this one finally sold. So yeah, I was glad to see that go. There's a question for you in the chat. Oh, okay, Peg, what do you consider a while? Uh, that sweater's probably a year for me. Uh, it's been there. So that, to me, that's a while. And I've, I know I've got things in, in my store that are probably, they're three years old. I've been cleaning up, but I'd have a lot more to clean up. So it just takes time. You know, I want to list, list, list. And, you know, when you want to have to go back and, and uh and freshen it up it, it takes time so um, i'm gonna tease right now i just looked at the shoes i just sold yeah you know the segment on thrifty business where in the world did we do we sell our stuff internationally yeah, 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 yeah. kind of the reverse wait till you see where this international item ended up in the united states that's the fun part okay so uh -oh. i'm gonna do a reverse this week oh that'd be cool that'd, that'd be, be really cool. one of those think about that i'm gonna do a reverse one this week i'll do a regular version and a reverse version cool Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes they still sell. I know coffee mugs have dropped off, but, you know, this again was a 25 cent coffee mug at a garage sale, guys. And uh, I sold it for the 10.95. So, you know, I'll take it. I will take it every day of the week. You know, if you could sell those. Here, now, here's a Fitz and Floyd piece, Jace, um, that I found in the garden at, um, at, at our little American Cancer Society thrift store. And I did pay uh, two bucks for it and uh, sold it for the 34.99. So that was nice. I, and now now that was in the store probably a good six months on those. Now, this is crazy, you guys. Do some of you know what these are? These are the candle toppers that go on the ink candles. And mine have been in my cupboard forever. And, and I don't use those anymore because I strictly use my tropical ones. And I probably I started to pull them out. And I said, okay, I'm going to group these in groupings like, you know, the winter. And then, Jason, if you show the next picture, honey, did you get a bunch of them up there? Uh, so I started doing them in groups, and I, I started listing. I, I had a few singles because they didn't go with anything. So I had a few singles, and then I had the other groups. And I started to list them, and I'm not even done listing them, and all of a sudden I'm getting offers just that quick on, on these. And I'm going, oh, oh my goodness. You know, so about five offers came through real quick, and I had about four or five more groups to go. So you know, I wrote the girl a quick note, and I said, uh, look, I've got a few more to list. If you want them all, we'll make a deal. So by the time the smoke cleared, I, I had listed 20 of these candle toppers and uh, I sold them to her at four bucks a piece. So there was 80 bucks, you guys, uh, you, you know, out the door. I mean, Jason, this was something I was almost contemplating putting in the garage sale for a quarter. You know what I mean? Just to, just to clear. <laughs> Not only do you buy for a quarter, you, you'll <laughs> sell for a quarter also. Yes, I will. Because when you want to move things and get rid of them, you I do. Do I have any? Do you have any other pictures of some of the other ones that I had there? Yep, I got them all. Oh, okay, open. yeah, yeah. Open up a, a, a couple more. Because there was with, with the turkey ones, and I think I had some Easter ones and Halloween, and uh, and and uh, you know, and, and then because it was heavy, I mean, this was uh, by the time the smoke cleared, and you know, I had twenty of these, uh, some in boxes and some not in boxes. Her shipping was forty five bucks because she guess where she lived, California. And she didn't blink an eye. Now, I don't know if she's going to resell these. If she's a collector, I really don't know. We didn't get that far in the conversation. But uh, she took them all. So that, for me, that was almost like a godsend. One customer, goodbye, they're gone, you know? So, yeah. So, yeah, 80 bucks, and she, she paid 45 in shipping. Um, um, uh, there we go. Lillian, I, I want you to ask a question. Lillian wants to know, are the toppers, are the toppers marked? The only thing they say on the bottom, some are, most of them were marked. Uh, see, Jason, see that label? Yeah, it's our, it. yeah, our America. Um, is that one? Uh, is that one? Well, that's, and not the Walt Disney one, Jason. You probably have to look at the other ones because being that uh, that's a Walt Disney product. Uh, yeah, that I think they're they're our America. Is the, is the brand name that most of them are, and these were sold in the Yankee stores. And, you know, and I was going crazy buying them all because I wanted them all for the different holidays and everything. 
So I, I got to think you sold that the Disney one way too cheap. Yeah, maybe. And, and here's why. Uh, because not only are there none other on eBay, but uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that water tower with the Mickey Mouse ears at the Hollywood studios isn't there anymore. No, oh, that could be. That so could anytime be. you got yeah. something Disney where there's some part of it that's been yeah. retired or gone, that you know that adds to the worth. Sure, sure. So, you know, yeah, that one I probably could have held out on. But, you know, the offer was there. They were all all going to one person, one shipping. I was I was I was happy. I was happy. Yeah. Peggy, if you're trying to sell a topper with a partially burned candle, or would you sell a topper by itself? A uh, topper by itself. Yep, for sure. There's only time I would sell with a candle. I found at an estate sale, uh, Thomas Kincaid had done some uh, artwork for Yankee Candle, mm -hmm. and they made the topper that matched the artwork on the front of the candle. So oh, it and came that's together. it, yeah. So that yeah, for yeah. sure. And those, yeah. those both went to England. So apparently England has not had enough of Thomas Kincaid yet. So yeah, boy, I can't sell much here. I've had some stuff up and I, it's not moving here. That's for darn sure. But, and all of these, you guys had the black smudge marks on them from, uh, you know, using them. So, you know, didn't make any difference. She wanted them. So and maybe she was a reseller. It could be. I don't know. Maybe a collector. Not sure. Um, Got to give dad credit on this one. He picked these uh, John Deere pieces up um, at a garage sale. But we've had it, Jason. I'll, probably, I'll bet it's been in the store well over a year. Uh, he only paid a dollar for all those pieces. And we just got offered 51 bucks and we took it. Nice. You know, I, ooh, $51. Yes. And then last but not least, uh, not, not nothing huge, but I picked these up at a garage sale for a whole dollar. And, um, you know, I don't know anything about the, the, these leapfrog readers. I really don't because my grandkids didn't have that. And uh, I, I couldn't even test it. And I, yeah, I did say I should have put that in my titles. You and I had Jason untested. I put it down in the yeah. body, but, um, yeah. And, and I, I got an offer. No, not uh, Yeah. I got an offer of 29 99 and, and sold them. I said, Oh my God, please. You know, now I've got a good question for you, Jason. Would you still send all those media mail? Cause you got those little two pieces there. Yeah, I would. Yeah, well, we did. So because it, it, it was it was double the price had we gone priority. And I said, you know, for those two little pieces, I'm just going to go media and hope for the best. Because it's mainly mainly all books. So all right. Was, so how many yeah. uh, garage sales did you hit last week? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> and then this is funny because what I'm going to show you guys today, I got up this morning. I haven't been sleeping real well because of my mouth. And I got up this morning to... Uh, uh, organize my closets because they, they, they've just been a wreck. And I said, Oh, I said, I, I said, I, I, I'm going to clean out some of my stuff that mom needs to sell. So that's part of it. But last year I did a little arbitrage at Walmart and um, I'm, I'm going to go through that first. I'll start with these, you know, it, it was the end of the Christmas season and they were practically giving away what they had you know left in their Christmas department. So I picked up these elf slippers. Aren't these cute though? I mean, oh yeah. If these don't sell, mom's going to wear them because they're my size. Um, and and that I, everything was like 75 to 80% off at this point, you know? And I said, you know, I want to try this. So I picked up the elf slippers and they were originally twelve eighty eight, And I picked these up for whatever 75% off is. I'm, you know, mom didn't take time to figure. Um, and uh, I'm just going to list them, I think, though, for the nine ninety nine, Jason. There is some people did the same thing that mom did because as, as I was going through the review, so I'll probably put these up for around 10, 12 bucks max, you know, and just hope for the best offer. Then also in that department, they had a lot of great ugly Christmas sweaters. This one is a poncho. This is really cute. I mean, like I said, these things don't sell. Mom, mom's, mom's ready for the holidays all the way. This has a great hood on it, as you can see. And these originally sold for 30 bucks, everybody. So less 75%. So that's a nice poncho. And and what's nice, because they all, they all have their tags still, you know, so I'm able to say new with tags. And uh, yeah, and these have an extra, you know, nose and extra ball for the top of the hood. So, so it's, it's the, like uh, Mr. Potato Head, an ugly Christmas sweater version. Yes, yes. Okay. And then here's the one with the Rudolph. I mean, there's there's some really cute, and I like it because it continues around the backside. Oh, that's and, good. Yeah, with this design, and and like I say, on each one of these, they're they're giving you the extra pieces in case you lose any. And then you know this stuff is still pretty popular. I got two of these, one in a two X and one in an extra large, and these are those reverse sequins, you know, 
you, you push down on one side and they, you know, look one way. And then if you push up the other way, this is a kitty's face. And then, you know, there's the, the face on the other side. So those are pretty cool. And I, uh, so I've got these up for around, there, there, there's a few listed and some have sold. So I had to kind of watch my pricing. Um, but let's see, what did I pay originally? I probably around, around $3 is what I paid for these things, you guys. And I will probably, you know, I've got them listed for, why don't I put them up for 20 or 24 and uh, with best offer. So, you know, we'll see how we do on that. Okay. Then I know Jason and I talked about this not too long ago and Jason, I showed these to Jace. I originally picked these up at a Tommy Bahama store down in Columbus, Ohio area. And when they retail brand new, they retail for uh, 60 bucks. And Jason says, Mom, hold on to it. This will probably... Well, they were on sale, weren't they? Yeah, I got them for half price. I bought it for $30. Right, 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 right. Okay. Right. And so he said, sit down, Mom. They're going to go out of print pretty, you know, eventually, and, and you'll, you'll have something. So now Jason tells me they're out of print, right, honey? Yep. Yeah. So now what do you think I should ask? Well, you know, I would get just one. Uh, how, how many you got? Two, yeah. I get. I put one up right now for a uh, uh, hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Okay. Let's see how it goes and and take it from there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because this one is still sealed. The other one, I think the seal, the wrapping was off of it. So for those of you who don't know, the, this is a great book by uh, Sven Kirsten, uh, Tiki Poppin. The Tiki people kind of really, you know. I take that back. There's only two up right now. They're asking one ninety nine and one seventy nine. So oh. I would put yours up in that neighborhood. But it seems how like yours is still sealed too. Okay, so what do you think? At one ninety nine, the started? last pre owned one sold for seventy eight. Okay, okay, pre owned. Yeah, pre owned. So yeah. someone's okay. got it at one seventy nine and free shipping. So just undercut them a smidge. Do okay. uh, one seventy four and free shipping. Okay, and free. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because it goes media, so that you know that would yep. be nice. That would be good. Oh, I got, I just, I got paid. Oh, I sold, I just sold something. I'll have to save it for next week because <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, so I got that. Then. As I'm raiding my closets to clean out, I, I, this is this is going way back, you guys. These are dresses that I wore, Jason, in the later '60s when the mini came in. Look how sh I don't know if you can see how short that is. I mean, okay, okay. This this hits mom uh, just below her crotch area, and that's when all the minis were in. This I want you guys to look at this label. This is Young Edwardian. Okay, and that's that is the entire dress, and I wore these to work, and they didn't like it, um, right there. But the young young Edwardian labels, Jason, they're getting between eighty and hundred dollars now for these dresses because this wow. dress is a, yeah, this dress is well, it's got to be fifty years old. Okay, so there's the one, and then the other one was this, and I'm I'm going to list these high because there was nothing like these, you know, up for sale. These are a couple of mom's old ones, and uh, they've just been in the uh, the cedar chest for a long time. So I guess it's time to move some of that out. Yeah. Then this was also in there, and I looked up these. This is a camp corset, everybody. Look at that beauty. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I know. Uh, I want to show you guys the label. Here it is. Because I looked these up. These get some seriously good money. Can you see that? Camp. And, uh, camp, C A M P, and this corset, you guys. I mean, they're getting between seventy-five and a hundred bucks on these old timers. So you know, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted. See if I you know if I get that kind of money out of that. Oh, the, here, this is something I forgot I, to show you last week. I found that at, at, at when we went down to Amish country. Oh, cute! Can you see it? Yeah. Do you have one like that? Uh, no, I don't. No. Okay. So I'll put that there. Okay. Then in cleaning out. My closets. Uh, over the years, I've collected a ton of Christmas uh, stuff, you know, for decorations. So I'm putting these two hats together. The two, two hats together. They both came from Victoria's Secret, and I don't even know if they sell these kind anymore, Jace. So you know, I'll probably I, I don't know, twenty bucks for both of them, maybe twenty five. You know, because it does say very sexy in there from them. So yeah, mm. so you know, ooh. and then I'm gonna put these two together because isn't this one the uh, from um, the, the Grinch? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So and then I got the regular ones. So I'm going to put those two together and put those up for around 20 bucks and see how they do because, Remember, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Claus does not have an E at the end. I know, isn't that? Yeah, boy, I couldn't believe that when we did that last year. And then these have been uh, up there forever, unless you would like them. I don't think they'll fit your foot, but 
We got some elf shoes. Oh, those some... are awesome. <laughs> I know. I mean, they are cool, aren't they? They really are. You know, maybe, hmm, maybe I should put those with the Grinch in the, in the hat. No, I'll just do them separate. I'll just do those separate. Okay, and then I haven't seen this one. I looked. I couldn't find it, Jason. But Mom used to wear this quite a bit. Can you get that? <laughs> nice. Nice, yeah, because of mom's love for Elvis, so they got elves like Elvis. And just a plain white sweatshirt. I'm going to put that up for around 20 25 bucks. Yeah, like yeah because, I, like I say, I don't think you can find that one anymore, anywhere. And then, now this is not the one you got, mom, so don't panic. <laughs> but, I have this, but I couldn't wear it anymore because it, it just it was got too small for mom. So I love this tropical theme one. This is, this, you know, Jason got me one in turquoise. And this is by Crystal Cobe, K-O-B-E. And this is a large, everybody. And I'm going to put this up for around 35 bucks, Jason, because this is really nice. Oh, yeah. And then Get it I, up. Get it up today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad already took the pictures. I'll be listing all night tonight. But it is a button down. So, any, and by the way, if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, just let me know. And I will be glad to, you know, get it off to you. Okay. Now, a couple other things that mom had. Because you buy these down in Amish country, but people always look for these, you know, cute sweatshirts. This is the one in pink, and it has the design on the back as well. And I'm going to list this for twenty bucks. See what happens. There's and they're still all in really nice condition. Excuse me. Thank goodness. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to sell. I, I'm going to sell it, but I don't know if it will sell since they stink. You know what that means, Jason? It's uh, the, the calves' colors. Yeah, it, it, it's snowing wine and gold. Yeah, it's snowing. It, it, it snowed. It, it rained on their parade. They're over. They're done. They've won two games so far this year. Pathetic. Pathetic. Uh, Jenny, Jenny said that uh, the corsets also sell to uh, burlesque girls and cross-dressers. Oh, oh, well, that's always good to know. All right, so I'm going to have my homework. <laughs> I'm so upset with myself, Jason. I hope I can do this. But I've got this guy, Okay. If you can see him, he's a musical Santa, but he, of course he moves and I'm going to have to do a video. And of course, mom panics. Going down for me. Oh, and nice. Oh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so I have to do a video. I mean, that's what's going to sell that little guy. And he was in part of the stuff I bought. So I'm going to list him for around 25 bucks with the video and see what happens. And then I, I get it up today. I know. I know I'm working on it. Um, and I love the Lucy trivia game. I paid, I did buy this at a garage sale, but I paid uh, 50 cents for this, not a quarter. And uh, this is around 20 bucks uh, for the I love Lucy, okay? And 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 I think I have is it just the one more thing? Oh no, I have two more things. Here we go. And we picked this up at a garage sale, I paid three bucks for this. This is a um, 1970 Ford Mustang die cast model, oh, cool. yeah. And then a nice one, so I, I'm hoping it'll go. I mean, Mustangs usually sell pretty well. And this is by Big Time Muscle, it says. 1974 Mustang. So there's that. So Dad, uh, we're putting that up for $25.99. We paid three bucks for it, everybody. Okay. And last but not least, I've had this, you guys. And I just keep forgetting to show you. But it just goes right along with the show today. Look what I have to sell. <laughs> what I like about this what one, guys. Because, yeah, it's got the older plastic uh, arms here you know that you just don't see uh we we paid a dollar for this at a, at the garage sale and i will probably list this for around 30 40 bucks you know depending it's and the webbing is still in good shape and it's the original webbing so this one's uh in, in really nice shape and yes we do ship these we basically shrink wrap them you guys a lot of you have seen that and um if there's any sharper edges which this one doesn't then dad sometimes will put cardboard around the edges and we just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and uh and there you go so I think that's it, JT. That is it. So I think Heather Bateman wants us to do a video of you making a video, putting it up. <laughs> is that what you want, Heather? Because that would be oh. fun. You guys, I get so nervous because I, I, I don't know. I just get nervous when I, when I have to do things. Now, what I finally have down, I, I got this one ma maxed out perfectly. I'm finally scanning my photos that I sent to Jason, and I got that down. I don't have to look at the notes anymore, Jace. Mommy just goes and does that one. So because you keep doing it. Yeah, I told you I to do a video three weeks ago, and you still haven't done one. I know. I know. I know. 
because I'm still a little panicky on the, on the, on the video because uh, I know I get to that one part that I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. So that that's my, that's my homework after the, that and the list, you know, updating my listing. So All right. doing, that's get, what mom That's your homework. I am. I am for sure. And just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I, if you're traveling, be safe, everyone out there. Uh, all of our friends out in California, we, we're still thinking of you and oh, just, you know, hate to watch the news because it's so devastating out there. So our prayers go out to everybody out that way. Now, see, you said that I was going to talk about sex and Ouija boards and now I can't. How do I follow up <laughs> thoughts and prayers for those in California? Because Ginny yeah. just found a Ouija board that has sexual positions on it. Oh, my goodness. Well, Ginny, you got to get that in the thrifting board. I've never seen that Ouija board before. And yes, for those of you who asked, Stacey did just walk in. <laughs> All right, I gotta go finish the webinar so I can go to a cookout okay. outside because it's nice here. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. It. Oh, wait, wait, one more time. You, it, wait, one more. It's heavier now than it was before. Can you see it? Oh, it's snowing. It snow? Yes, it's snowing. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> Jeez, oh man. Well, go have fun at your barbecue, you you worm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Like, like, uh, just want to remind you: this Wednesday is Thrifty Business new uh, special day, special time, eight o'clock East Coast, five o'clock West Coast. Ginny said she got a new webcam, so I can't wait to see that. And maybe as part of that episode, we'll play uh, Sexual Positions Ouija Board because <laughs> yeah, nothing says Christmas more yeah, than that's Sexual that's Positions that, yeah. Ouija Board. With an Ouija Board. <laughs> <laughs> and get signed up for the class: www.registerfortheclass.com. My CD webinar two days from now. Also, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast. Again, if you can't watch live, no biggie. As long as you're signed up, you'll get the link to watch yep. whenever and as many times as you want. All right? right. And for those Thank of you, you. who uh, I won't see before then, have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, for the rest of you, I'll see you Wednesday and Thursday. Or, excuse me, Tuesday no. and Wednesday. My bad. Right. Busy, busy week. That's for yep. sure. All right. For selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Bye, everybody. We're out of here. See you.